Hey, hey, everybody. So, Susanna and I are back again for another month of our What's New series. Everybody seemed to really like it. You guys had lots of comments. Um, really enjoyed kind of doing this kind of um, what's new in our craft room and then using it to create a project. So, we are going to make it a regular thing. So, I have lots of new things in my craft room. Ah! Um, so this is just what has come since like this week. It's Friday. So yeah, there was a lot, but it's a, it's, it's a good thing. I haven't, um, this is probably, yeah, this is, this is a good bit. This does include some, um, paid promotional items from material on top too. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to go through it quick and then I'm going to decide what I want to play with for my layout. So I had to grab some inks. I accidentally, note to self, um, went to put re-ink my pink champagne ink. I It was getting dry, needed more ink. I went to re-ink it and I grabbed the rose petal re-inker instead of the pink champagne re-inker and ruined my pink champagne ink pad. I feel like I'm not the only person that's ever done this. So I had to get a new one of those. And then... Catherine Pooler released three new grays and I needed them to add to my collection because they are so, so nice. Um, so I got all three of them, Pebble, Hoodie, and Slate. Super excited to go ahead and uh, work with those. Um, Spellbinders had a big warehouse sale and so I grabbed a just a couple of hot foil plate and die sets. My goal for these was to buy things that I could use to make embellishments for scrapbook pages. So I got uh, this one, which has the hot foil plates, all the butterflies, and then all the dies to build the butterflies and to build some flowers. And um, super excited to play with this. I think these are going to make really pretty butterflies and these are a really nice size. I think they're probably maybe like one inch and inch and a half and two inches maybe. Um, but really nice size for homemade embellishments. So super excited about those. And then this is the same thing. I got the Magnolia bouquet hot foil plate and die set from Spellbinders. Same idea to have these pretty floral flowers that I could tuck in and use on scrapbook pages with the coordinating dies. These are the kinds of hot foil plates that I search for and look for. Um, and these were really inexpensive and on sales. I was super happy to be able to grab them. And then I did get this set of hot foil plates that does like foiled sentiments for cards. Um, I haven't had any like this before and I really wanted a couple and again I think they were just they might have been like three dollars like the warehouse sale was amazing I got so this was all that I got from that and then I got some Brutus Monroe goodies so they were doing a sale if you made a purchase you got hi Andre you got a free gift so I got this free stencil to make graduation cards and then I also got these two. This is from their new summer release. So I just love these water lilies. They're so pretty. I absolutely love them and the dragonflies and I want to stamp them and watercolor them with my zig markers. And then I also got this Limline stencil. So probably see these in a reel or maybe a short. I'm not going to play with them for what's new. And then this is what I got from a cherry on top. This is my design team package for the month of May. So uh, let me go through here quick. I am going to show you this, but then I'm going to put this aside. This is not what we're going to do <laughs> for what's new May. This is the Peony Print Hot Foil um, Hot Foil Plate. Plate. It's called a plate. And then there's a coordinating uh, die or a coordinating stencil set. So you have this, and then you have the coordinating stencil to color it. This is actually for a Technique Tuesday that is coming up for, uh, I think it's June's Technique Tuesday. So this I'm going to set aside because that's what I got this for and um, we will play with that later on. 
And then I got a couple of stamp sets. So I got this new one from Ulta New Delightful Day because, you know, flowers. And these, this is the cool. So this stencil is totally different. See how it has like the four pieces and then this little kind of like jig that you swing it around with. I am super excited to play with this and see how it works. I'm a little bit curious. I've never had a stamp set. I mean, I've used Ulta News layered stamps hundreds of times, but generally, you know, you have like four stamps and I'm not sure how this is gonna work on this little like turn thing. Um, so we're just gonna have to see how that works. I'm very unsure about that. <laughs> and then I got the stencils or the metal dies to go with it. This we could totally do for what's new Wednesday, for what's new for my layout. And we could give this, unusual stamp set a try. And then I got this one from My Favorite Things just because it was cute and messy and I thought I don't have any stamps like this. These like blotch stamps are kind of, uh, there's a couple of them that have come out. Solomon Hurley had one that came out. There were a few. Um, but this one caught my eye and I really liked it. And I really liked this one. This little squiggly circle too. I feel like that is so me. So this one's called Artistic Prints, and I'm really excited to play with this one, see what I can do with it. And then, <laughs> so there were two new lines in over at a chair on top. One is called Postcards from Paradise, and one of them was P13's Precious Collection. So I got one ephemera pack from each. I got the chipboard from the P13 Precious Collection, and I got the ephemera pack from the Postcards from Paradise collection. You kind of see the back of it. Kind of neutral florals, leaves, some feathers, those kinds of things. Now, the Postcards from Paradise collection. I This is a tropical line, and I don't do tropical stuff very often and we don't um, travel to tropical places. So if you're wondering why I bought this, I bought this for the b-sides wait till i flip these papers over oh my goodness backgrounds galore so the first one is this one with the cut apart pieces and some of these could be used just fine for for um projects as well but look at that back side like it's like a ready-made gorgeous gorgeous background ready to go beautiful colors a little bit of mixed media we've already got like some design going on where we we have this kind of anchoring piece and we can flip it around so easy to use and I got two of them this one is another postcards from paradise collection and again I got two of them I like this side but you guys like look at this look at this it's so pretty these b-sides were so amazingly awesome and I had to have the b-sides this one I also really like because it's not um super tropical-y like it's not full of like flamingos and stuff it's just it just has um this kind of rainbow background with the flowers and I thought that was really pretty and I could definitely see myself using that this is the full amazing paper now hold on a second I got three sheets of this paper because, hold on, I don't really like flamingos, <laughs> but look at this. Is this not the most perfect rainbow paper ever? It's subtle. It's not in your face. The colors are just gorgeous. You can use it as a background and not lose like part of this like rainbow stuff that's going on. It's got a little bit of grungy stuff. Oh my goodness this paper is so amazingly gorgeous and I cannot wait to play with it we are going to be playing with this paper for sure and I got three sheets so we can play with one sheet for what's new for our layout design I'm so excited about this paper <laughs> just in case you were wondering I'm so excited about this paper okay this is another one from the um, postcards from paradise collection i got a lot of this paper because of the b-sides because these b-sides were just so good they were um inspiring me and i love them they were just they're so pretty uh so this is the other one at paradise founds and again like gorgeous gorgeous backgrounds i have been struggling recently with finding 
papers for backgrounds. I don't like background papers that are too busy. I don't, I like things in like more neutral colors. I tend to be the girl that kind of heads more towards a white cardstock background. And uh, so when I was going through the things that were new in the shop and I came across these papers with these gorgeous backgrounds, I just, and they're so perfect for summer. I had to have them. Um, we're doing Messy May in the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group. So we have like this whole kind of messy, grungy vibe going on. The How to Kill a Kit with Style is like this grungy kind of messy look. So these were just super duper perfect for me to play with during the month of May. And I got two of these because I, I just, I want to play with them. They're so pretty. And like I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, okay, we can use... this paper but then this one we can hot foil and go ahead and make some embellishments to go with it like amazing so we're going to have some fun with these beautiful backgrounds so even if you are in the rediscover your stash facebook group and you don't do messy and you don't do mixed media this is a great way to get that look we're going to play with these papers and get that kind of messy look now we're on to the P13 Precious. Now, again, with both of these lines, I was on the fence about the embellishments. I wasn't really into them, not loving the embellishments, but loving the B-sides of the Prima papers, loving the papers in the P13 collection, but again, not really loving the embellishments. So I just got a couple embellishments. I got the stamp set to kind of make my own, and um, we're going to make some embellishments. So for the Precious Collection, again, like how gorgeous is this paper? It's beautiful. And then I got two of these because I thought that these could be fussy cut and make some floral elements with it. This is the Precious number two paper and I got two of them as well. Again, because one side is like this beautiful background type of paper and then the really soft, pretty florals. And finally, I got two of these as well. This is the Precious number four. Really, really just loved this, this um, for a background. I don't love the birds on the other side. The, the birds can, whatever. But this side, <laughs> I wanted two of them. And again, the idea being, like with this beautiful type of a background, and then you can make your own kind of embellishments. Um, so really, really got a lot of those two lines just because it was just beautiful and it worked. It looked so good. Um, so I was really, really happy with all this paper. <laughs> and that's it. That is what is new in my craft room. So for our layout coming up, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to play with the postcards from paradise papers and we're going to play with the hot foil sets that i got because i think those are just match really nice and then we can pull in a couple maybe some of this ephemera and i still have beach photos of my nieces from last summer that these will match perfectly with so that's what we're going to go ahead and work Okay, everyone, you have a wonderful, wonderful week. When this video goes up, I will be just about to leave on a scrapbooking retreat for a couple of days, which will be super fun. And I will see you when I get back. Bye.